Primary elections for state and local offices are only a few weeks away on August 6th. Absentee voting is happening right now. Our Stephanie Poole speaks to one circuit clerk about how absentee turnout is going so far. She joins us live in the studio. Stephanie. Yes, as Election Day gets closer, those eligible to vote absentee are heading to the courthouse to turn in their ballots. If you haven't if you aren't able to cast on your vote on August 6th, it's still important to exercise your right to vote. In three weeks, thousands of people will head to the polls, casting their votes for who they want to see in office. But every year, there are people who get a head start that aren't able to make it on August 6th. If they cannot do it on Election Day at the polling place, absentee ballots are available. In Owamba County, Circuit Clerk Carol Gates and her staff are hard at work preparing absentee ballots and counting the ones that come in the mail. We have received um, around 30 ballots, that's Democrat and Republican together. Gates is expecting for more ballots to be turned in closer to the deadline as people choose their candidates. If you don't vote, a lot of times you you know you may not be able to complain about what's going on if you're not happy. So that's your voice, as, as your vote vote is your voice as to what goes what happens. Election Commissioner Tommy Golston trains poll workers about the rules and regulations for election day. Golston says poll workers must go to four workshops. Gates says she and her staff will work tirelessly to make sure everything runs smoothly on primary day. The last day to vote absentee is August 3rd at 12 p.m. If you have any questions, you can contact your local circuit clerk's office.